When somebody requires dialysis and is diagnosed with end-stage kidney disease or end-stage kidney failure, um, if they're eligible for Medicare, they can get Medicare based on that disability and it will cover all their health care costs. That program was um, uh, started in the uh, 19, early 1960s, early 1970s as a social justice issue when dialysis was uh, essentially invented. At that time there were only a couple thousand people on dialysis and it was mostly young. We never really anticipated that it would be this large. And so what we're seeing now is that the NSH renal disease program is a great program that keeps people alive and keeps them well until they can receive a transplant or extends their life. But these about 850,000 people right now consume in the order of 10% of the whole Medicare budget. So it's a gigantic public health cost. Historically, a lot of the interest in kidney disease epidemiology has been focused on people with end-stage disease, those people who require chronic dialysis or kidney transplant. The last 10 years or so, we've realized that there are many more people who have mild to moderate kidney disease who do not require dialysis or transplant, but who nonetheless suffer many important problems. What has been neglected is this third group of people from an epidemiologic point of view, who have acute kidney injury, who have sudden declines of kidney function in the hospital. Acute kidney injury is basically an abrupt decline in kidney function that can occur in a variety of settings, such as in patients with severe infections, with heart disease, after exposure to certain medications, or after major surgery. It turns out that this group of people has become much more common in the last decade. The incidence or the new occurrences of dialysis requiring acute kidney injury has now exceeded the incidence of end-stage renal disease, which is the number of new patients started on long-term dialysis for each year. We found that um, from 2000 to 2009, the incidence of um, the most severe kind of acute kidney injury has increased at a staggering 10% per year. We found that um, deaths associated with cases of dialysis requiring acute kidney injury has um, more than doubled in terms of the absolute numbers over the past decade as well. We hope that this paper will really raise the public's awareness and the research community's awareness of this problem and help us um, understand more why this is happening. Well, here at UCSF, we span everything from the early stages of kidney disease to chronic kidney disease to kidney failure to acute kidney injury. The UCSF uh, is one of the leading centers for doing these studies. We're involved in a number of NIH-funded studies uh, to look at the um, span of kidney disease from acute, chronic to end stage. And we're interested in both the epidemiology and the biomarkers, and hopefully also in interventions to improve the care of patients with kidney disease.